Hi, this is、uh, an infrared thermometer, and、uh, of course you can see people use such infrared、uh, thermometer to measure temperature this year everywhere. But how does it work, and what is underlying principle? Is the reading reliable? Let's talk about it today. Now we、uh, have known that the every、uh, hot object, if temperature is not absolute zero, we radiate the thermal energy. Okay, this type of radiation can be measured by instrument such as the one I just showed you. So this is not a, a thermometer compared with the the one we used traditionally. This is actually a detector. To measure the intensity or power of the thermal radiation, so basically, what is measured directly is not a temperature, rather it measures the intensity of thermal radiation. We use I to represent the intensity. The unit for radiation intensity is a watt per meter per square meters. Okay. Fortunately, that、uh, since 1900, physicists have established. Well, someone in particular is、uh, Max Planck, who had proposed the theory to describe the radiation, thermal radiation. But his formula is valid for an ideal model, which is called the black body. So, if the black body's temperature is a T, then the intensity of the of the thermal radiation of black body can be simply written as I equal to a constant multiply the temperature to the power of four. Simple. In order to specify that this formula is valid for black body only, I put a subscript here, I B. Alternatively, this formula is also called、uh, Stephen Boltzmann law. But for the object who、uh, whose uh, uh, efficiency in emit thermal energy. Is lower than this ideal model, then the、uh, the formula must be modified. But after all, that's why we introduce a gray body. So gray body is such that、uh, whose uh, thermal uh, radiation intensity at a given temperature is lower than the、uh, The black body radiation intensity. So in doing so, we will introduce a parameter called epsilon in front of this uh, uh, formula. So basically, for a gray body, that、uh, the in the intensity of thermal radiation is、uh, comparatively weak. Now the epsilon here is defined as、uh, emissivity. So epsilon will simply equal to the the intensity of black body. Sorry. Intensity of gray body divided by intensity of black body. So in this way, you can see that intensity of gray body is always weaker than the black body intensity. So if I If I draw the diagram, if the vertical, if we use the vertical axis as、uh, intensity, and the horizontal will be the temperature in K, then we can actually draw these two diagram. Okay, in order to differentiate that uh, uh, two different intensity, I will use different colors. For the、uh, for the black body, I use the origin color. That just indicate how radiation goes from the the object to all directions. 
Then I use a different, slightly different, uh, I use a purple color to represent the gray body. Okay, so intensity is relatively weak. So if we just draw these two diagrams, you will see that the dependence of the intensity on temperature will be very, uh, very change as temperature increase okay. to the power of four. So this curve represents the intensity uh, as function of temperature. So therefore, so now as we can measure the intensity from the object, then we should be able to find its temperature, right? So if you just use this detector to measure the intensity, say this one, so if this is intensity you measured, if you know this intensity from this uh, detector, and the detector will uh, calculate, based on this number, the detector will calculate the corresponding temperature. So in this, in this case, you will find the temperature here right so that is simple that is simple but don't forget in this case this curve here is represent the intensity of black body black body what happened to the gray body well the dependence will be similar except that intensity is always weaker than the intensity of black body radiation and let's draw that. So if the, uh, similarly, if temperature is very low and the intensity very small, and eventually the intensity will build up in the same in a manner as black body, but always weaker. So this curve, the purple curve, will represent the intensity of a gray body, gray body. So just to make sure we understand which is which, and this the emissivity for the uh, gray body intensity is uh, smaller than one. Can we say this is, uh, for example, this is just equal to say 0 0.6. And for the black body, the emissivity will be exactly equal to one. Yeah. So the range, so the range of emissivity were from zero to unit. Okay. For the black body, the emissivity is always unit. So emissivity is always unit. For the gray body, the emissivity is less than unit. Okay. Well, since since getting looks very simple right no because in, when you measure different uh, object the emissivity their emissivities may not be the same because that is problem that is very uh, practical problem because this is a machine they cannot tell if they are not told the emissivity of particular object they cannot make a decision for example, if we measure the object, the, the machine, the detector can only use this uh, origin graph to read the temperature, right? Now, if the object, which is cannot be described by a black body, in this case, say if the emissivity is 0 0.6, then we know that the intensity you measured can we draw another straight line, horizontal line? So we know that the intensity for the gray body, for a gray body whose emissivity is 0 0.6, the same intensity would be noticeably lower than intensity of the black body at the same temperature. 
So that would be the case. Do you agree? So if you, if you measure that the uh, intensity, then you and also you know that the emissivity is zero point six, then you will choose, you will choose that. Uh, so you will choose this uh, propionine in order to calculate this uh, temperature. That will give you the actual. That will be identical to the real temperature, actual temperature. However, if you don't tell the detector the emissivity changed, then by default, the emissivity is always close to unit. As a result, what would happen? So the machine, the detector, were just simply uh, based on the numbers. And so when, whenever they see the intensity change, reduced, they will just follow this uh, origin line. As a result, the temperature you read displayed on this screen would be different. You will see that. So because the machine, the detector, doesn't know uh, the, the actual emissivity, so therefore they will just follow this uh, origin graph the reading will be something lower, you see. So if you write the temperature down here, so if this is, a, if this is, a, so this is the actual temperature, T1, this is temperature T2. Apparently, the temperature two is lower than temperature one, sorry. That is a problem. That is a problem. So if you go to market, if you buy, if just check your uh, IR uh, thermometers, if there's no, if you cannot change, you cannot reset the emissivity, then you always have this trouble. So you will mistakenly pick up, obtain the numbers, which is just, which would be different, which would be lower than the actual temperature. Uh, object uh, actually has. Okay, now how do we solve the problem? Then this particular type of the uh, infrared uh, thermometer allowed me to change, to adjust the emissivity, you see. By default, the emissivity is, uh, let's go to the large screen. So by default, the emissivity is zero point is zero point nine eight. Okay. Now, if you if you if you know that uh, emissivity of the particular object, say zero point six, what you can do, you can just reset emissivity. Hold it for two seconds, then change. Okay. Now I'm going to reduce this number epsilon from from 0 0.98 down to 0 0.66 okay done it okay okay so now the emissivity will be 0 0.6 instead of 0 0.98. Now in this way, the reading, let's just return to the diagram. By adjusting the emissivity of these uh, IR thermometers and the machine will use the purple diagram to tell us the temperature. Can you see that? In this way, the temperature display at this moment would be identical to the actual temperature of this gray body. Okay, understand? So be careful when next time, whenever you choose a, a infrared thermometer, you have to ask whether you can adjust the emissivity 
according to uh, you can you can Google these tables. Actually, this uh, uh, this booklet provided by the factory will provide this. Uh, uh, several uh, typical material, emissivity was uh, of the several material such as uh, concrete, or that I can show here brass, copper, uh, steel, and steel, a shiny steel, re reflective uh, emissivity is very low. I think, let me see, for the steel, yes, for the uh, punished steel, the emissivity is 0 0.1. You see, so be careful next time when you when you choose a particular uh, infrared thermometer. You have pay attention that to see if you can if you are allowed to change the emissivity. But uh, I'm I'm disappointed because this is this looks good. It looks good, but this particular type uh, is not reliable. Okay, so be careful.